So somebody just bought everything you need, laid it out, and said, "Y'all get, y'all get whatever y'all want." I ain't never been in nothing like that. It's always BYOB or BYOW. If you know, you know. <laughs> what it do, YouTube? It's Ty Fetty with the Fetty back at y'all another video, man. Y'all know why we here to handle business. But before we handle that business, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna say it again, bro. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna say it one more. Matter of fact. Like, comment, subscribe. Before I got beat you up, man, y'all know what's going on. We got the Gilbert Goons. The teens terrorizing the streets of Arizona. I ain't never heard of no Gilbert Goons. I ain't never heard of Arizona even doing nothing with none of that terrorizing nothing. But guess what? We about to tap in and see what's going on, man. Let's get it. Shout out Funa. I'm back. <laughs> I'm when back. You move to a small city like Gilbert, Arizona. I'm back. You go there for a quiet place to raise your Let's family. Get it. With a population of just 275,000 people, anyone moving there is expecting a quiet suburban lifestyle. While the subjects of today's video were determined to make sure that that wasn't possible. The subjects of today's video are a gang of upper middle class wealthy teens committing robberies, selling drugs, and attacking people in the streets, causing skull fractures, facial fractures, broken teeth, concussions, and other serious injuries, all leading up to a murder of a young teen. Oh, so these just some badass jets. Just fill me with no guys. These kids all right. in the small town of Gilbert, Arizona, a living hell. And the, you know what's crazy, though? They probably think they so like that. In Gilbert, Arizona, if they went anywhere else, they'd be little ass fishing upon. You feel me? That's just how I go, though, man. The subjects of niggas get bored and just start trying shit. The Gilbert goons. Look at him. Look. Gonna be Come on, bro. We got little Matthew up here. That's look like a um a David or like a feel me like a you know now him right here. I ain't gonna lie. Out of everybody on this list, it's to my eyes, boy. He looking at you. He got some deep, dark thoughts going on in that brain, man. That's, I don't know. it. Not Emmanuel. That's a that's kind of black. What's his name? Orion. Just a Ryan. Just a, you feel me, Ryan? <laughs> he never liked his name. <laughs> he wanted to be Tyler. <laughs> but it's Ryan. <laughs> we got Miguel. He just happened to just, you know, they dragged him, man. Fuck it. He don't got nothing to lose. We got a Miguel. Ah, what's buddy name right here? This is Brett. This is Brett. Brett. The crazy thing is, he's black, but he don't got a black name. He can fit in with these with this crowd. This right here. Hmm. This is Matthew. His name is Matt. That's his name. His name is Matt. Feel me? You don't know if he's black or white off the paper, but he's black. His name is Matt. And this is Big Dawson. Moving for y'all. That's Big Dawson. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it even better. This right here is Big Dawson. Big old Dawson. He was the ringleader, I guarantee you. Him and him was calling the shots. Football player turned bad boy. He happened to just live there and fit in with him, and he was the muscle. Let's get it. <laughs> but before we get into the video, please be sure to I just broke it down like a backwood. You feel me? So let's get it. A group of teenagers and young adults calling themselves the Gilbert Goons were wreaking havoc across the small Arizona city. The Gilbert Goons are described by concerned local residents as a gang of 20 or more mostly white, upper middle class teenagers from multiple Southeast Valley high schools. They have been accused of committing a bevy of attacks throughout the city, including cracking a kid's skull with brass knuckles. Mm. Their attacks became increasingly violent and they used threats and intimidation to keep their victims silent. For more than a year, they carried out random assaults on teenagers in mall parking lots, outside fast food restaurants, at parks, and at house parties. To make matters worse, they would record most of their attacks and other criminal behaviors, then post them on TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. They would fill themselves drag racing, popping pills, doing coke, and brandishing firearms. This is literally just bad white kids, bro. Like, they parents just get them out of any situation. They pay for the lawyer, slap on the wrist, Tommy, don't do it again. Yes, mom, Tommy does it again. 
Feel me? Like the fu like I, I, what? What's the, the crazy purpose thing about this? Is that that some of these kids come from millionaire families? Typically, criminals come from poverty and resort to crime due to growing up in bad areas and trying to survive. But these kids, are I ain't gonna lie, this is literally just rich white kids who are bored. These niggas is ghost riding the web. Bruh just posted some tech on a, you feel me, $500. He said 500 for some tech. They just bad kids, bro. They just bad, rich, white kids. <laughs> <They're> just, <laughs> just bored. After years of terrorizing the city of Gilbert, Arizona, the Gilbert goons would finally face retribution following the death of a young teenager during a Halloween party. Preston. That's a white ass name. Lord. Hey, uh, um, I'm at a, I'm at a party. Um, and, uh, um, there's a bunch of people are here with, with guns and he jumped my friend and he, he knocked out on the ground. He was bleeding and then I, I came over here and there's a bunch of people there telling uh -huh. me not to call the cops, but it's the baby's thing to do. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. He's been out, out unconscious for like two minutes. I, I, we need people over here. Are people on the way? On October 28, 2023, a Halloween party was being held in a house in Queen Creek, Arizona. The party was wild, with hundreds of people in attendance. There was alcohol and drugs all over the place, available for everyone there. Most of the people in attendance were high school age kids. As you can imagine, Alcohol and hot-headed teenagers don't mix. I'm not gonna lie. I always wanted to experience some Project X type shit, but he just said it was alcohol and drugs there for everybody to enjoy. Like, so somebody just bought everything you need, laid it out, and said, "Y'all get, y'all get whatever y'all want." I ain't never been in nothing like that. It's always BYOB or BYOW. If you know, you know. <laughs> We not providing shit. Oh God, you might provide some 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 punch or some feel me some 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 liquor, but it ain't never niggas can't just go in there and drink, grab a a a, a, a KD or some gas and roll it and smoke it off the strength of the nah. These niggas talking about they got drugs for everybody to enjoy. A hundred hundreds of people. I ain't never been to no party like that, bruh. And if I did, it got shut down quick because niggas came through sweeping. If you know what I mean. So conflict would soon break out. According to a witness statement, two groups were engaged in an argument. One of the people allegedly arguing was a guy named Tristan Billy. During the argument, Tristan, one of his my friends, bad, not me, kid nicknamed D Money, real name Dominic Turner, allegedly. I was wrong about the Matt, the Matthew, but Dominic is a hundred percent a biracial name. 100%. You could use black, you could use a white. I know, I think I know a couple couple Spanish Dominics too. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I told y'all though, I had to, I felt where it was going. You feel me? He definitely had that name on paper where, damn, is he black? Is he white? Is he, you feel me? I told you. I'm talking about D Money. <laughs> he snatched someone's chain and ran off with it. This caused the groups to move outside where a brawl would break out. The friends of the person that was robbed attempted to get the chain back. One of the people that tried to get the chain back was a 16-year-old boy named Preston Lord. Unfortunately, this would cause him to get jumped by multiple people. A kid named Talon Renner allegedly punched Preston first and Wait. knocked him out, and Tristan Billy allegedly kicked and stomped Preston in the head while he was lying on the ground. To make matters even worse, Multiple of the attackers allegedly dry humped Preston while he was unconscious to emasculate and embarrass him. Once the attack was over, some of the kids at the party tried to step in to perform CPR after his heart stopped until paramedics arrived. Damn. They were able to restart Preston's heart and he was taken to Chandler Regional Hospital. He was then transferred to Phoenix Children's Hospital in extremely critical condition with a severe brain injury. He would tragically pass away two days later on October 30th. Damn, that, no, that's crazy, though. All jokes, Multiple all, of press Like, all jokes aside, that's crazy. Now, granted, it's been a lot of situations where niggas get jumped or, you feel me? They just step into some the wrong shit, and they really get knocked out. Niggas stumping their head and shit. 
But it's like, I ain't going to say it's rare for somebody to pass away like that, but you just don't see it happen as much as you see niggas get their heads stumped in. You feel me? That's 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 just like, especially when he wasn't an aggressor, bro. Like, it's fucked up, bro. No cap. Since alleged attackers are believed to be members of the Gilbert Goons. In the days following the murder of Preston Lord, multiple attackers would brag about it to people. But Talon Renner was the worst offender. He sent a message on Snapchat saying, I got in a fight, a big group fight, and I accidentally killed a kid. I guess I'm just too strong. The attack on Preston was recorded. Talon allegedly showed the video to his friends, bragging that he put a kid on life support. It turns out that Talon is the son of a millionaire gym owner named Travis Renner. Travis allegedly tried to hide evidence from the night of the beating and shift blame to another boy with a similar name. One of Travis's female employees claimed that she was an unwilling participant in a cover-up that allegedly began as soon as Preston was critically injured. The former employee at Relentless Media Agency told a local newspaper that her bosses Travis Renner and Adam Kiefer, CEO of Relentless Media Agency, openly discussed their plans to hide evidence and shift blame on another boy with a similar name. Travis Renner reportedly plotted to bring Talon to a cabin until the injuries he sustained while handing out the beating healed. They were allegedly advised by their attorney to do this. Talon is one of multiple family members involved in criminal activity. His older brother, Kyler Renner, is allegedly a Gilbert goon as well and was recently indicted for an assault charge in relation to his involvement in a gang attack at a parking garage near Gilbert and Elliott Roads on December 3rd, 2022, and another assault charge for an attack at a house party in 2022. Kyler was also charged with five counts of possessing dangerous drugs for sale and using electronic communications to facilitate a drug sale. The father, Travis Renner, was arrested for possession of drug paraphernalia in January of 2024. Back to the Preston Lord case. By December of 2023, the police were keyed in on seven suspects and were investigating them. Niggas juice. These just dummies, bro. Aside they just retarded. Talent, like, multiple what are you other doing? suspects incriminated themselves in messages and police interrogation. A suspect named Talon Vigil said in a Snapchat conversation that quote unquote, I hit a kid and this kid hit his head. And then they kicked his head in the ground and then I got word he died, so I don't know. Another suspect named William Hines told police officers, straight up bro, I was drunk heat of the moment i kicked him one time and i kicked his leg william also told police that treston was one of the people that attacked preston another suspect named taylor sherman told officers that he talon renner jacob meissner and dominic turner got in his car and took off after the fight taylor denied being involved in the fight but admitted recording Preston as he was being dragged out of the roadway. Witnesses told police that Dominic Turner and another suspect named Jacob Meisner were involved in the attack on Preston. After five months of outrage and protests from people in the community, the seven suspects were finally arrested and charged for their involvement in Preston's death. Talon Renner, age 17, was charged with first degree murder and kidnapping. Treston Billy, age 18, was charged with first degree murder, kidnapping, and aggravated robbery. But if it wasn't planned, ain't that manslaughter, bruh? Feel me? Uh, not mind. No, it's not. I mean, it could be. It could be. It could be. Ugh, first degree murder and kidnapping is crazy. Dominic Ugh. Turner, age 20, was charged with first degree murder, kidnapping, and aggravated robbery. William Hines, age 18, was charged with first degree murder, and kidnapping. Jacob Meissner, age 17, was charged with first degree murder, kidnapping, and aggravated robbery. Taylor Sherman, age 19, was charged with first degree murder and kidnapping. Ugh. Talon Vigil, age 17, was charged with first degree murder and kidnapping. Talon was released from jail this week after posting the $1 million bond he was given. He has to wear an ankle monitor for the time being. All seven suspects have pled not guilty to these charges. Damn, cuz. Man, it seems like... <laughs> Damn! Because they wanted to be some bad-ass kids. That's all it stemmed from. Niggas wanted to be bad kids. My bad. They wanted to be some bad kids. They weren't niggas either. They were some rich white boys, bro. Feel me? They just wanted to be bad, bro. Just do something like... 
bro, I ain't gonna lie. You gonna a kid's gonna be a kid, bro. Like even like see like this is where the like ignorance comes in at, right? Niggas be like, they're eighteen, they're nineteen, they're twenty, they're grown. Bro, at twenty years old, bro, I was still a kid, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Twenty years old, you're still a kid. At eighteen, you're still a kid. At nineteen, you're still a kid. At twenty one, you're damn near still a kid. Feel me? Kids gonna be kids. Kids gonna make irrational decisions. But man, my folks got some money, some millions. They can put me up. I'm gonna be put up. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Ain't no way I'm going to no Halloween party, nigga. The party's coming to me in the crib. You feel me? I got the bread. I, I'm probably got a jacuzzi, a pool. Fuck, we, I, I, man, niggas tripping. But with that being said, y'all know how I go. It's Ty Fatty with the Fatty Man. Make sure y'all stay smart, bro. Stay dangerous. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. I'm back. That's all I'm gonna say is I'm back, <laughs> and I'm gone. Man. I'm gonna catch y'all next time.